Oh my Gucci Tommy, did he have that soil? Hey Tommy, I mean who did it? It's Student Orientation and Advocacy Services. Mm. It's the info hub of UCT. Seriously? What else do they do? Directions, support, advice. One stop shop. No, a pass. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> in the project of the uh, SP have a good relationship and I could communicate to them. First of all we had to um, acquaint ourselves with anatomy so we back in 2012 we transplanted a penis from one cadaver in the anatomy lab where the second years are to another one. Learned very valuable lessons such as you know where the blood supply should be taken and uh, you know how long length of urethra. It's a bit gory but at that stage we we were taking the big blood vessel here on the on the on the on the, on the right, and under a bridge of skin, we uh, we connected that to those to those blood vessels. You'll see now, we did it a little bit different eventually, but we did learn a lot from that. Hello, I'm Mark New. I'm director of the African Climate and Development Initiative, or as we're commonly known here at the University of Cape Town, ACDI. Thank you for allowing us to submit a proposal to the AXA Fund for a successional chair program in African climate risk. This is what I call, or I'm calling, joint attribution, teasing out that a relative contribution of human-induced climate change and other social ecological changes on the net risk in the systems of interest. I think this, important, this research is really, really important because it provides sort of sound and quantified evidence for decision-making. For example, on which investments one should be making to restore the resilience of these systems so that they have the best chance of reducing the risk of climate change. I've never liked my hair. I've never liked my boobs. I've never liked my butt. Yeah, I've never liked my butt too. My legs. <laughs> my toes sometimes. My eyes. And my nose is just not sharp enough. Mine too. And you've seen the ladies in the magazines? The music videos, they look stunning. Like no silly light, no stretch marks, skinny tummy, like small waves. Perfect noses. Girl. At one point in my life, I remember I was in the dressing room um, buying clothes and I was buying this high waist, it's, oh, I was buying a top, and this, it was a crop top. And this lady in the room said, and I said, oh, I'm worried with a high waist skirt, but then I'm not sure how I'm going to do it because what if the skirt slips down? And the lady's like, what do you mean? And I showed her, I, I turned up, I, I just lowered my skirt a bit and I said, hey, look, look at this. And then she said, I was so good, I'm like, like, we all have kids. So I was not the only one going through that. And I hope with this video, people can really see that you are not the only one going through this. Giving birth to a child is a beautiful thing. And hey, you have stretch marks. You know, one time I was with my boyfriend and he said, what is this? Like when they, the first time he saw them, he was like, so this is what you've been complaining about. So he saw it as just, because we think men see music video chicks when they look at us. And that's not the case. But like, is this the thing that you're complaining about? Like, really?